Hey everyone, this is Raptharian, uh, back with another episode of uh, Seven Days to Die, Lone Meat. Uh, the trick that was uh, in the last episode of placing the block down in the doorway uh, resulted in uh, Steve showing back up at the door again uh, in the first thing in the morning, and I was able to come up here and, uh, you know, stab him until he dropped dead. Uh, and so... You know, I spent the night downstairs uh, digging in my hole here. Um, and so, you know, kind of take you guys down. Uh, it's, you know, a ways down. I hit iron down here, clearly. Uh, and I was starting to tunnel through the rock uh, to start to make my uh, route out. And, um, you know, it, it literally is a case of um, the noise of me tunneling. Uh, kept attracting that zombie uh, to, to come on over and investigate what the heck was going on. And so as a result, uh, you know, he came to the front door and we had to have a go of it. And as a result, uh, well, he didn't have a good day. And so he's out of the game and I'm ready to head off into day two and start seeing what we can do to raid some other places around here. Um, so I'm just gonna break open this door because that thing's pretty well busted up already anyway uh, from him coming through. And uh, we're just gonna start clearing zombies from some of the different POIs around here. Um, seeing what we can do. Got anything good in there? Ooh, a cooking grate. Uh, now all I need is a good pot, and I'll be well on my way to make stuff I need to make. Um, to be able to cook up some food, you know, you know, at least start getting to some boiled meat uh, and things of that nature. Looks like the way they want us to enter this POI is through here in the basement. Ooh, we got a working workbench right next door to where we're staying. Let's see if I can kind of like squeeze in here and get what's inside. Some vitamins. And some aloe. I will take it. Um, and so we got. Let's see. Okay. Gonna clear this trash pile right here. Uh, keep ourselves as quiet as we can. Because right there. We got ourselves a sleeper. Let's see if we can chuck this arrow far there's, there's a spear far enough to wake her up. Drop it back. Drop ceiling in this room. Gonna have to look up there. Leather duster and some shades. Well, we'll wind up putting those on. I'm gonna shut that door. We're gonna pull up right here. Take that, I'll throw on the clothes that we got to wear. I'm sure we're going to look fantastic in this gear. Um, but you know what? Don't matter. That hole over there is where we're going. Right here, unless I can get it from down here, and I can. Got some more food. You know what? And I'm going to set myself up. Oh, that was interesting. Not exactly what I was shooting to do. Anything else up here that I'm missing? Nope. 
and drop a wood frame down here. So if I need to upgrade it, I can. We're going to open this door. See if we see anything. Okay. Break the trash pile. Get my other spear down. There we go. They'll be coming out. We're going to drop that down. We're going to upgrade that. We're going to open that door. And we're going to help them out. No, we don't want her getting up. Oh. We're bleeding. Deal with him first. I gotta make a bandage. I don't have any. And I don't... Uh, yes, I do. Recipes, bandage. Yeah, we'll just craft as many as we can and have them on us. I'm going to leave that there. What we got here? Concrete. Not going through that way. Okay, it doesn't appear to be anybody else on this floor. Nothing of worth there. Okay. Take the plant. Break down the table. Ooh. Had a chest armor. We will wear that. Get rid of the trash pile so it doesn't make any noise. As I clumsily roll along here. Check our corners. Okay, nobody in the kitchen, but I'm gonna I'm gonna roll on. Make sure we're clear before we start looting. Oh, stupid. I don't where the heck did he come from? Oh, I got two of them, and I'm encumbered. I'm going to try and tear out of here as fast as I can before my stamina wears down. We're gonna drop a frame. Let's play stabby head where I stab you in the head with a spear and you pretend to catch it right in the eye oh you lost your head you guys deserved it over the crap you put me through okay I'm gonna have to sit and hit myself with a few bandages and uh, eat some food may require me running back next door eh, just flop over it's all you're good for uh, let's see, do I have anything that's worthwhile in here? I can eat a can of pears. I know pears give me water. Uh, let's use this first. And not a whole heck of a lot of health comes out of that sucker, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to use that. And peas. Peas don't have much either. We're going to use that. And I, I know a bunch of you guys are probably watching me and going, what the heck are you doing, Raptharian? You should have broke out the AK and popped him with that. And I should have. That was a bit stupid, a little panicky of me. Um, where the heck did they come from? Oh, up in the ceiling. Is that where they were? 
They dropped down and in. They might have been sleeping up there. Still a bit puzzled. Oh, here we go. Oh, yep, dead. Probably should have healed up more. Doing stupid. Really? Okay, so here we are. Did something stupid. Not a terrible surprise. I do it often. Um... But I will try and chug my way back to what should be my house. My base. Drop my bedroll there, because obviously my bedroll that I thought I placed in here. But maybe I didn't place one. Nope. Like a true moron, I didn't place one. I left it out there. So we're going to get that thing dropped down right now. Place I can put this that's out of the way. Oh, it just wants to be in the way. Okay, there's good enough. Anyway. Now I gotta go back in this house. Get my crap. I don't have anything to make anything. But maybe I can find something. Wrench. I guess if I had to use it as a weapon, I could. Man, a lot of nothing. Really, I missed that. Dude, payback is a bitch. And you deserve it for jumping down on my ass. All oh, bookshelf. Okay, what I'm going to try and do is pop that door. If there's a zombie in there, I'm going to fall back, close the door behind me, upgrade the wooden frame, and see if we can't hold on that way. No one comes screaming. Okay, garment bag. Corners are clear. I'm going to shut that door. What do we got? Muffled connector mod. Well, we will use that. We are encumbered, which is not a great way to be running through a place, but... You know, a pair of pants, which we can toss on. I'm gonna scrap the chair to get the slot back. Don't need the plant fiber pants anymore. I can put this into one. No. Bandage. Yeah, I can. Uh, so I'm going to do that to get a slot back. Ski goggles. We're wearing shades. Level 3 spear and gloves. Well, we're going to put the gloves on. 
Now we're going to take this level 3 spear. We're going to chuck one of our level 1 spears. Okay. So what I'm going to do is because I'm out of space and literally can't fit in... Uh, this is going to be it in my loot everything style. We're going to head back out of here, go home, dump all this off. Look at that. I missed that. I think I did. What goodies are in here? Oh, look, a can. Well, doesn't make us any heavier. We can drop all the goodies off. So our campfire can now get upgraded to have a cooking grate in it. So we're at least that far along. Leave it in here for right now. I'll deal with that later. But now I can go back next door. And uh, try and clean this, finish cleaning this place out. So now we'll go back in when we're not encumbered. And try and finish clearing this place. Let's just repair it. Repair it. There we go. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drop a... Oh, I got another sleeper right here. Okay. Choices, choices. Somebody's waking up from the noise. So, hey Steve, how you doing today? Ah, oh, that was not a nice way to say hi to you. I stuck you in the skull twice. Okay, yeah, uh, we'll take a step back. Come on. I think that was the one that was in the bathroom. I don't want to do this. I think I'm going to go with the bow. Ain't going with the bow. Didn't bring any ammo. Stuff a frame up here. That should have woke him up. Oh, and we got a crawler. Okay, the crawler's down. That took some damage. Sweet, a bow, iron arrows, a junk turret, and some armor plate mod. Worth the time to get in here. Another junk turret.
Got ourselves a cooking pot. So now with the grate and the pot, the only thing left is the beaker. And then we know we can... We got everything we'll need for a good campfire. I'm wondering if there's something up there. So I'm going to try and pull up a bit. There it is. Purse. Some cash. We'll take it. Cash is always good. Turn around, sell that off to the... Uh... No, I expect... I expected to hear that creak. Where is that? Because I don't recall. Having seen that room. Oh, really? To get it to main loot? They want me to drop down and in? I don't know. I'm game for that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up so I can drop some frames here. And then those frames will help me get back up if I drop in and just go, oh, no. Okay, I'm going to make some more frames because... You just never know when you're going to need them. If I drop down and in there and find out that that was just a really bad decision. Again. Oh, it's the back of the vending machine. Got some diamond, gold, and silver. Watch, well, just awesome. More ammo, more iron arrows, more plating mod. Working stiff crate. Let's see if there's any tools or anything in here that might be helpful. Military parts and rebar frame blocks. Now the rebar with some concrete will make for a good... Um, We'll make make a good, uh, you know, quick way to be able to um, to be able to uh, reinforce quickly. So uh, that is good stuff to have. When combined with the other stuff that I've gotten in this place, uh, I think we are done looting. I'm just going to bust my way out, and we can tick this one off as complete. And like I said, the beauty is, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shut the doors as I go. Um, we, got a, we got a workbench right next door to our base. That we're holding up in. Um, you know, so we've we've got some you know good stuff right nearby. Um, so this is starting to shape up nice. Uh, no, that was not a funky floor. Gonna take all this stuff. Uh, I believe I can break down that radiator. I don't know if I brought my wrench with me. If I didn't, I'll come back and I'll use the wrench to break that down. Because I think I dumped it. Oh, got to break down in chunks, huh? Well, 
Oh, look at that. Almost missed it. Another can of either pears or peas. I think that's just a ceiling tile, but you know what? I'd rather break it and know than miss something and have you guys go, uh, you know, you missed that. Knuckle wraps, scrap chest armor. Or chest armor. Again, break this sucker down. If I get something, fantastic. It's nothing more than a plate. It's nothing more than a plate. So that's where it was, the back of the, the vending machine. So behind that was where the main loot was. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of tear this stuff down so that it's all clear in here. Because I may drop some uh, wood blocks here. See what I can do to get the keep the uh, zombies from getting in any more than they ordinarily would. Um, and I may, on the base next door, drop the land claim block and claim that area. That's dirt. There we go, a few frames. We're going to have to make a door to replace the one I busted out there. Uh, is there a wrench? Because I can use the wrench to tear down the car. There's the wrench, okay. So let's just see what stuff we're going to dump in this chest for right now. I'll have to look at that armor. Um, and the gloves. Got two junk turrets now. And that's something else. I got to make some ammo for the junk turrets. I got to use that wrench to break down and get me some good uh, iron. And then with the iron, um, I can make ammo for the junk turret with a scrap iron. Um, you know, and that's going to help, you know, as I get into combat situations and as I move around. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's going to be a much better way to go. And, and for those of you who are, who are looking at me as I'm, putting in like this door and whatnot and as i as i seem to toggle a little weird uh, i developed an interesting problem uh while recording video number one and i rolled directly from one into two uh day two i i developed this issue where i can't scroll my mouse scroll <laughs> isn't actually doing anything um with my with my hot bar so i'm being forced to have to do everything by doing the, the physical number selection, which really kind of stinks. Um, but it is what it is. Um, you know, you work with what you got, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just the way it rolls. Uh, so now here we go. I'm, I'm going to jump in here, and instead of going into that, I'm going to look at some of these different uh, items, look at my character. Um, you know, I'm level two, so I should have some points, some skill points that I can spend uh, I do. I've got five, um, so probably should be dumping those in my characters. I'll have to make a, some choices about where I'm going to spend those. Am I going after the tools or, um, you know, or something else? So these are scrap gloves. These are iron gloves. Uh, which one of these two is better? Uh, looks like the iron um, 
a little bit better on the armor rating, resistance, okay, durability, so all in all, we're going to go with the iron gloves, uh, and then we've got chest armor, you got the padded armor here, uh, versus the actual chest armor, um, a little more wear on my uh, stamina, a little bit, you know, more noisy on the uh, chest armor, but I think, you know, in light of the f how, well, just dreadful a player I am, I think I need the armor. Um, kind of help me, you know, work my way through it. Yeah, there's a scrap chest armor. Let's see, ch uh, chest armor, this armor. Uh, it's better on durability on the leather. Uh, let's see. So, I don't know. It might be worth going. Uh, instead of with the iron, I'll put the iron away. I'll throw on this scrap chest armor. Seems to be a better, uh, slightly better way to go. Um, and then knuckle wraps. Well, they're not going to help me worth a darn. Um, got the ammo, pants. I, yeah, I, don't, I got shoes. So I'm f pretty well outfitted. I could probably make myself a hat to go. Um, would help with the heat a little bit. Um, so maybe that's one of the things I'll craft as a hat. Um, do the plant fiber hat. Better than nothing. Um, and then we're going to throw a bunch of this stuff into the chest. And, uh, you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this, this up a little bit short today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spend some time organizing this chest. And, again, working on the tunnel tonight if anything comes up again i will i will i will cut back to it like i did with episode one um since so you guys don't miss out on anything uh and you know then uh what i'm going to do is prevent myself from rolling <laughs> right into episode three kind of the way i did with episode two from one uh because making too much noise i attracted too much attention and uh it started just becoming a problem uh and not the kind of problems you want to have so um i think what we're going to do is like i said cut this one a little bit short let me organize the stuff i got in here as you can see i'm starting to get a a decent collection of gear um and i'm going to probably have to start scrapping down some of these chairs and you know i haven't found a forge or anything so it might be that i'm going to need to wander off see if i can find myself a crack a book um, and then maybe i can find some schematics uh that will help me craft a forge, craft some of the things I'm going to need uh, as my skill points increase. Uh, yeah, because this chest is full, and it's probably full of a lot of junk I may not need. Um, you know, it just may not make sense to, to be carrying around in here. So, impact boot mod. Well, I do have shoes. I wonder if I can put this mod on... Uh, the clothing that my character is wearing. Can these shoes be modified to take the... No. Impact boot mod. All I can do is put dyes on it, and, well, all I got is a brown dye, and... whoop de doo um, So, like I said, let's call it up short here. And, well, let, me, let me take a look at the time. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock. We're going to call it up just a little bit short here um, so that I'm not... Attracting more zombies, causing more of a problem as I take the time to just kick down another chest, uh, organize my stuff, kind of get myself into a better place uh, so that as we continue on, uh, you know, I'm not slowed down by the fact that my uh, gear is not put away in, 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 you know, proper containers and, and situated correctly. And also see if I can clear this stupid bug with not being able to scroll, but having to... Uh, constantly uh, select the number that I want to work with. So thanks again for watching. Uh, go ahead and, you know, become a raptor, get your wings, then hit that bell, subscribe, be a raptor with claws.